Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we're going to be checking out an amazing horse, the Dark Bay Turkoman. I hope you guys all enjoy this. Now we're also going to show exactly how to get this horse incredibly early in the game, even in Chapter 2. Now traditionally you cannot get this horse until the epilogue, but look how beautiful this thing is. I know it's raining, we got a nice zoom in on there, it's big old meaty clackers, but... That was an accident, sorry. Uh, but regardless, this horse is beautiful. Now, as I mentioned, you can't typically get this until Epilogue 1, and you have to buy it from a stable. But using a method that I posted earlier, we were able to get this thing in Chapter 6, and you can get it as early as Chapter 2 for free, which is particularly amazing. Now, I'm actually not a big fan of the Arabians. I loved them when I first found them, but after using other horses, I found that the Arabians are way too skittish, and that kind of outweighs any of the benefits. They're not the fastest horse, but they do have really good health and stamina. Now, this horse here will have max, max health when fully bonded with, and it will have eight stamina, which is more than enough even with the White Arabian, which has less health and just as much stamina, I never had any issues with stamina with the White Arabian. And this is on par with the stamina, but has significantly more health than the White Arabian. Now, it does only have 6 speed and 5 acceleration, so it's as fast as the White Arabian, but a little bit slower on the get-go. Now, the bonus from this horse is the Turkoman is particularly good at not spooking, which makes it, in my opinion, better than the majority of the Rabians, solely due to the fact that if you encounter a gunfight, a trap, any kind of animal in the wild, you're not going to really get bunked off. As long as you calm it pretty much instantly, it's not going to buck you off, although it might get spooked even if you don't calm it, it shouldn't buck you off like the Arabian, which makes it a far better horse, at least in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, uh, but we're going to go ahead and check this guy out here. Now, the reason this horse is so good when it comes to combat is it's actually a race and a war horse, which is amazing. With the war horse stat, it's not going to really spook at anything. It's amazing for gunfights, and Turkomans are multi-class with characteristics of both race and war horses. They can be identified by their slender but agile build, and also their sleek coat. The dark bay, gold, and silver coats can be purchased from a stable. Although, with this method, you can get them for free. They handle well, but can often be impatient. They are popular due to their fantastic health, good stamina, and fast speed. This well-rounded horse is great for most situations. Now, I have to agree with that. The Turkomans are one of my favorite breeds of horses in this game. The second, or tied for first, really, is the Missouri Foxtrotters, which are faster and just as good when it comes to combat, because they're not going to spook on you. But look at the coat on this thing we've got this nice black on the back that blends down into the neck with this golden brown it just it is majestic and i really like the white socks on it well but anyways we're gonna go ahead and show how to get this horse for free if you haven't seen it already and this will work at any point in the game so you don't have to wait until the end to get so many of these amazing horses it's just crazy that okay, some of boy. the best looking Here and best go. horses in the game are reserved to where you basically aren't ever going to use them that much if you've spent the majority of the time of the game actually doing all the side quests before beating the story. Now to get any horse in the game for free and early, you need to go to this point just north of St. Denis. If you zoom in on this spot, it's going to be a group of three houses. Drop a point here and we'll go over the next step. Once here, you're going to see two horses. Now, these are the horses that are going to continuously respawn until you get the ones you need. Once here, you're going to go to your menu. You're going to go ahead and save the game. And then once you save, you want to actually exit the game and then reload it. Some people are saying loading the game works or running away from the spot. None of those methods have worked for me. So I highly recommend instead of loading, exit the game completely by just going to the main menu and then reload the game. Once you're back in, you'll be able to go back to the spot and you'll see new horses here. Now, just like that, we did that same thing and we got ourselves the Turkoman just in front of us. Now, I highly recommend padding it 
right off the bat to make sure you get bonding with it. And then once you get bonding, don't mount on it right away. Just go ahead and saddle it up. And then you got yourselves an amazing horse. Now this does work with any horse in the game, so keep that in mind. But if you are looking for the specific beautiful horse, make sure to do it this way and you'll get it in no time, even in chapter two. I figured we'd go ahead and just customize this real quick and uh, let's see what we can make it look like. Of course it's storming outside, but just even not in the light, this thing is beautiful. So let's check out the main here. Do you know horses just love a lump of sugar? Of course horses, who doesn't love a lump of sugar? Oh, you know what? That red and, I use the red and black a lot, but it looks particularly good on this horse. Uh, let's see here. Oh, the silver. Oh, that looks nice, too. I like that a lot. What other options do we have here? That looks nice. This is just a beautiful horse. I highly doubt anything on this is going to look bad. This matches it a little bit better. Well, that no kind of gives me a stroke. Me. I actually... This looks really interesting on this horse, but let's maybe go with, with that. And then for the tail, I like to use the long. I think it looks... Look at them big old Nothing meaty clackers. Well what a good horse. The red and black does look really nice, though. It's like my favorite colorization for that. This does look nice, too, though. Very fashionable. The braid. The, the braid is so strange because, like, the little nub of the tail, like, sticks out sometimes, and it just looks mutated. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I really like the long. I think that'll work. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, especially because you got the white socks on it already. So you got the white socks, the white mane, and then this just beautiful colorization on the horse. Now, thanks to this horse being a workhorse, I wanted to showcase what it's like when it spooks at something. And there was just a snake here, and of, of course, I wasn't recording when the snake did its initial aggro. But the horse barely gets upset. He obviously warns you and kind of skirts around it. But other than that, you don't lose control of the horse like you would with something like the Arabian. Now, I don't think I don't think there's going to be any other snakes or anything around here. We can try and showcase it. But any horse with that war stat is going to be significantly better when it comes to anything in combat. Especially if you're going to get, like, if you could get ambushed. Usually when you get ambushed, the Arabian's going to buck you right off. But the war horse will not. It's a loyal horse and perfect for combat situations. And that's one of the main reasons why I feel like the Arabians really aren't the best. I just also wanted to compare the sizes of this horse compared to the Arabians. So we've got our black Arabian here, and you can see it barely goes above the window in the back. And if we switch to the Turkoman, you see it's a significantly larger horse, and it's beautiful. I think it looks a lot better than the black Arabian, especially with that hair color. Oh my god, is it beautiful. We can switch back and forth here, and you can see the size difference. Uh, there's other ways to do this, but this seems to be the simplest. What are you gritting your teeth at there, weirdo? Anyways. Some people really like to see the size difference, because a lot of people don't like how small the Black Arabian is. And this is the, um... Oh, yeah. The Brindle Thoroughbred. You can see how big the Brindle Thoroughbred is. And the Turkoman is just a little bit shorter than the Brindle Thoroughbred. All in all, still an amazing horse. Now, the reason I say that I don't think stamina is as important as everybody thinks is because once you have five stamina on a horse, especially once fully bonded, if you're riding it correctly, and that means at a full gallop, about every five seconds hitting in the left mouse button, you can regen stamina. Now, that happens quite often, and you're able to get quite a bit back. Now, that is when things are fully bonded that it'll work amazingly. And at a horse at five bonding, you're almost never going to run out of stamina if you're using this method. Unfortunately, I've only got bonding level one right now, and it does not seem to be regenning stamina. I was curious if that worked for horses with lower bonding level, but it does not seem to. I think at, like, level three, they start being able to do that. And the game doesn't actually tell you that, which I find pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and stop here and see if it works. It's still at bonding level one. I think when it hits bonding level two is when this starts to actually work. Let's go ahead and regen our stamina here. And so the difference between a horse with five stamina and a horse that comes naturally with seven really isn't that huge of a difference. I would rather have a horse with better temperament 
and better health than a horse with just yep. higher stamina and slower speed and stuff like that. And so you're still bonding level one. And about every five seconds, you should be able to do this to regen stamina. You see when we get the bonding, that's when you also regen stamina if it's at the right bonding level. So let's see if it works at bonding level one. So it does not seem to work at bonding level one, but let's go ahead and get it up to two and see if that's when it starts working. Nice. Bonding level two and at eight health already and six stamina. So let's see at bonding level two if this works. I know it works absolutely at bonding level three and four. I've done it many times. There we go. So it does regen at bonding level two. But you get more region the more that you bond with your horse, which is interesting. It's not something I ever noticed before, but knowing that now is pretty interesting. So you see, every five seconds, we'll be able to get a little bit of our stamina bar back. And at bonding level four, that'll do like a, four, a quarter of your bar, which is huge because you can just run forever. So anyways, I hope that was some interesting information for all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow that like button if you like this horse. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite horse other than the Arabians are. In my opinion, probably the best horses in the game are the Missouri Foxtrotters, but this is coming in pretty close. They're not as fast as the Foxtrotters, but man, is this horse pretty.